Any all and 101 are very similar categories. But I beat your any all time like a week or two ago, so you need to get on that. You can't let me be ahead of you. I could probably get 35, 36 as well if I really put my mind to it. But you've seen the fruit of that. Basically, I'm just trying not to reset unless it's like a run killer. Which, pretty much up until, um, what's it called, orangutan gang, any mistake like death or Kong lost at the wrong time, is a run killer. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You'll they're world 5 and 6 are pretty hard, but they're fun to learn. Like the the stuff on the wiki is really good right now. So just do a little bit of the IL stuff and you'll be there in no time. Like it won't be hard at all. You probably already know tire rows and a lot of rolls and a lot of the extendos. I'm not even doing the optimal stuff in say like blackout basement where there's a lot of extendos and tire rolls in there too. Um, yeah, stop and go station is really easy and especially if you're not doing 101 you just take the warp and you're done with the level. Yeah, yeah, Eason did a lot of really good work. Both, I mean, he's got stuff in some good videos, like for Optimal, in places where there's safer stuff you can do that's still pretty fast, um, which is probably what you want to do if you're not going for like a 33 or 34. Um, then, uh, like, it's not like easy stuff, not like noob route, but safer stuff that's not going to like lose your run as often. Um, but he uh, has pretty good descriptions too, so not just the videos. Now when it comes to the hundo categories, I would say 102 is definitely the best of them. Because it's different enough from any percent that you feel like you're doing something good, but really, Ingarn? But you're, uh, it's not so long as 103 that it breaks your brain. Set over that. I mean, yesterday I would have, but I'm trying to be a little less trigger happy with the reset button. My 
ideal vision for this particular stream would be for one of these 101 runs to end shortly. I don't necessarily even need it to be a 52 or even a PB, but just I'd like to just kind of get through it decently. Um, and then move on to some 102 practice. My wife took my boys to go see uh, The Secret Life of Pets. So, um, and my girls are taking naps right now. So I've got a couple hours. And if that all goes the way I hope it does, it could be a good stream. You guys are lucky that I'm streaming at all, honestly. I was seriously considering the going the nap route with things. But I didn't. Obviously. I might, um... Depends how the evening goes, but I might stream tonight, too. And if I do that, it'll be a 102 run. I made a tiny mistake back there with a wiggle that was unnecessary, but it's okay. Hey, thanks, Saroxis. Thank you for the luck. Feels like luck is really the thing I need right now, because the way some of these, the what, uh, the way a lot of runs were ending yesterday were unfortunately unlucky. Just a lot of bad stuff happened, whether it was just not paying attention or sloppy mistakes that I really shouldn't make. Like, I wasn't necessarily dying on hard stuff, I just was struggling. Oh, zipped the wrong direction. I don't really understand how that zip works, and I definitely don't know how to get through this cave optimally. Okay. Yo, Rifle. Yes, I would love to get the result I want out of this game today. To move on to a game that is not this would be lovely. Loverly. I was just saying before you got here, I hope that I'm able to, uh, if I can get a run of this done um, relatively early in the day, I will hopefully move on to some 102 D-Rust in this particular stream. Um, but if it takes me too long to get this 101 run done, I'd like to just finish something, basically, is what it comes down to. Now this level right here might be the coolest level in 101, just because of the way you do that roll back across the rock rocks. And then the whole skipping the boss of World 2 thing is pretty cool. It's the interesting thing about the rock crocs is even though, though they're like up and looking dangerous and all that, they're actually one of the few enemies that you can just roll through without any harm coming to you. 
now. You've got to start your roll before you get there. That's what can make that little technique a little bit tricky, is if you start your roll um, at a bad time, like, or if you mistime your jump, you can land on them when they're open, and that's obviously bad. But I figured, in fact, the, for the longest time, the first one, the one where you jump from the ledge to the croc that's off screen, um, that one took me a really long time to figure out how to set up. But basically, um, I figured out that if you face left as you're coming out of the barrel, like if you're holding left as you do that, then you will, um, you'll almost, he'll almost always be down. Like he won't be in a standing position. But if you're facing right, he almost always will be in a standing position. And then you're gonna, you have to land on the very edge of the ledge or you're gonna get hit. Oops. So basically by facing left, you make it so he's down, and by him being down... Okay, I took that a little safe after what happened yesterday. But, um... By him being down, you can just safely land there and start your roll. And then the next one, it's not... You, since the guy you're jumping to is on screen, it's not too bad to try to position yourself to land just to the left of him. But you gotta move pretty quick, because if you give him a chance to move back and forth a lot, um, your timing on when you jump will be off. Basically, you scroll him on screen and jump right away, and he'll be moving to the right, which gives you a little bit of room on the left to land. And that's probably a lot more detail than anybody needed for that technique that's a little bit behind us now. This level's pretty cool at 101 also, just because of the way you use the warp and then uh, the bonuses, the sequence you do the five bonuses in, just to make sure it's all done really quickly. It's pretty cool. And then there's Clam City, which is like the worst level in the game, and I hate it forever. There's like nothing hard about it, but I just can't seem to do it right. I wonder if everybody has a level like that, like an easy level that you just can't seem to get right, or it takes a long time. For me in Donkey 2, that was 3-1, uh, what's it called? Barrel Bayou. Like, that's a really easy level. There's nothing hard about it, but for some reason, I would just have mistakes in it all the time. Yeah, Clam City, dude, it's just, like, it's just so easy to get hit and lose on guard, and once you lose on guard, it's over. Also, I'm really bad at this boss. I should probably just switch to Donkey. Oh, that part. I'm referring to the Rambi part of that stage. Like, for some reason, and I mean, the thing you're talking about, I definitely have been known to make mistakes on, too. Not as much recently, um, but uh, when I was learning, for sure. But um, just the beginning part with Rambi. Like, it's not hard. There's nothing hard about that. You just, like, roll and or run and jump. I said roll because I was thinking I need to roll right now in this game. But then, um, what's it called? The... Uh, the, I just would always fall in a pit or miss time a, a jump or something. I'm sloppy. Always sloppy. Poison Pond is a is a very common hated level, but the difference between that and Clam City is Poison Pond is legitimately hard. 
I'm talking about like what's the easy level that you keep screwing up. But Poison Pond is definitely similar to Clam City. If you lose on guard, you're in trouble. Oh, I forgot to start select. That was lame. Could have saved a couple more seconds there. forget about that guy. I like this part though. A donkey just hangs out on the side. Gold, sweet. All right, this one was giving me grief the other day. I don't really know why. There we go. Yeah, some runs yesterday that I was missing that, and then it would seem like when I restart the level and uh oh I held for a little too long um, okay but uh what am I saying when I would restart the level and have to get donkey again my timing would be even more off which is weird because it's based on when you scroll them on the screen so nothing really should have mattered okay yeah it was a little late but I still made it Yeah, the barrel shots definitely take some time to get used to knowing what you're doing. It's pretty rare that I'll shoot Brock out of a barrel now. I guess I just did it a second ago, but... Um, what? Go this way. There's the second I lost because of uh, whatever it's called. Holding the button too long. Like it's seriously, it's amazing. It was just a few like frames too long. But it's amazing how much ho quickly you go up than you fall down in that super jump. Like you let go of B relatively shortly after you start the super jump, and then it, uh, you start falling, and it takes a really, a lot longer to fall than it did to jump. No! Why am I jumping?
No! Ah! Uh... I'm gonna try this extend out once. Got it. Gold? No way! I missed the thing! There's no way that was gold. No way. Because I've definitely hit the... The, lead, the slope jump in runs. I don't know how that was gold. I got the exclamation point, right? I, I'm pretty sure I saw that. Honestly, I might go back and double check just because that's a little concerning. Unless someone can verify that they too saw the exclamation point. Slipping. I shouldn't have switched down there. That was a little sloppy, whatever. Yeah, I got them all. Interesting. Oh well, guess it was gold. What? I need to get faster at that part for getting on that rope. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That was a very sloppy bonus. I know you can just roll across the ledge without doing the barrels too, but my first roll, I didn't I wasn't close enough to the edge, so I was going to I wasn't going to make it. You have to roll pretty much straight off the ledge in order to do that. Some good time those last couple levels. What age am I? I'm 30. Unless Kuzo is somebody else that I have not seen say anything yet. So the first time I played this game was probably before most people on Twitch were even alive. Actually, I was thinking about that when uh, 
getting the first or the final bonus, which is also the first bonus in um, Snow Barrel Blast. There's that you jump on top of the igloo and then wait for the Neki to fly over. There was a Nintendo Power video that they sent out with um, the issue about Donkey Kong Country where they like kind of went a little bit into the game, but they showed where that bonus was, and I very distinctly remember that as a nine or ten year old or whatever it was. And how cool this game was when it first came out, like how great the graphics were, and so fun. I did get 101 then. Not a lot of people did, I apparently. Little did I know how much time I would spend with the series as an aged man. was like 94 Yeah, I got my N64 I think in September of 97, so yeah, right around the same time. That was a great year. It came out in 96, which incidentally is why a lot of people didn't play Donkey Kong Country 3. It's because it came out after the N64. Oh. N64 was awesome. Man, the two birthdays when I was 96 and then 97. On 96 I got Mario RPG for my birthday, and then in 97 I got an N64. And that might have been my two best birthdays in a row. So good. You were 1 in 94? Nice. Definitely weren't playing Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> okay. This time I didn't forget that bonus, which is not... <sighs> Why did I roll? Oh, what? Are you serious? What a terrible thing. That's not a lot of time lost, though. <laughs> How did I die there? Oh, I made it! I didn't think that last one was going to do it. Yeah, that jump is always scary, but I didn't even think I got that one. It always looks like you're not going to make it, but um, I didn't think I rolled from the right position that time, so that's why I was nervous. Like, I think the t I thought the tire was in the wrong spot, which is usually how I know whether I'm going to make it or not, is based on where I get the roll from the tire.
forget this that time. But in the PB or the splits I'm running against, this actually, this splits I'm running against aren't actually my PB. They're a tied PB that I got yesterday, which is actually 0.2 seconds behind my PB. But I liked these splits better just because they uh, actually had the levels being done in the right order. Because in my real PB, I did World 4 before World. Um, before World 3. What's up? How you doing, Tundra? Oh my gosh, what's happening? I got off sync there. It's okay. Did it. Yes! Nice. That was great. What's up, Yuna? <laughs> no, actually, we're in a new place now. We're in an apartment for a little while. Let me streaming set up out of the basement. Honestly, sometimes I wouldn't mind it being in the basement because then I could maybe leave it set up. But I, my streaming's always been in our living room, so I. Uh, um, I don't know how to do these jump rolls. I'd really like to learn them. I, I didn't even know they existed till yesterday, but um. The problem with that is every time I go to, uh... Every time I go to stream, I have to, like, take everything out, set it all up, hook up all the cords and everything like that. So having a fixed streaming location would be kind of nice. Yeah, I think after this run, I've got my game saver on right now. I might, um... Try to learn these jump rolls. Oh, did that drop my summit best? Yeah, it did. Nice. Of course it was gold. That was a pretty significant gold, though, I think. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Almost died. I lost track of where Diddy's sprite was, and the next thing I knew, he was below the, uh... the platform. You're concerned about me? <laughs> what have I done? Whoa, that was weird. Like, now I'm donkey for this. That's great. You didn't know what a basement was? Is that a thing? Was there some reference I didn't get?
didn't know a basement existed before yesterday. What did I not know ex Oh no, I meant to say I didn't know that jump roll existed before yesterday. I must have like read what you said about the basement and then uh <laughs> that's funny. Like mixed it up with what I was thinking in my brain about jump rolls. But yeah, I didn't even know about the jump roll in 101 in Trick Track Track till yesterday. But then conveniently it was timed with your basement comment and baby girl has started screaming but that's what she does normally during nap time so I'm not concerned it sounds like tantrum screaming not pain screaming these are the kinds of things you learn as parents is you learn your kids cries you learn the whining, tired cry, and this is what that is for her right now. And then you learn the actually needs something and is hurt cry. And another thing I learned yesterday was that there's a you can do the infinite roll glitch in this in 101. Which I'm not gonna try. Well, maybe I will. No, I'd rather save the time. But you can apparently get the infinite roll glitch off that bird. I know the cries! More just did you see me chicken out doing those tire rolls? I like to grab that DK barrel there whether I have donkey or not. Just to, it helps slow me down enough to get on a light cycle that I like. Also that, yeah, you're, you're pretty much reading the situation right. If I was, like, needing to reset, I would have used that as an excuse to reset. I'm not fooling anybody. But she's really fine, she's stopped.
that I'm, I don't really know what I'm doing there anyway. Definitely need to work on that jump roll. I didn't even get the tire roll, tire tut. the trickery summit I wanted to I I don't really know it very well in this particular level if there's one of those I have a chance to get it's the one in um what I missed the I missed the bonus are you kidding I'll wait a tiny bit longer I guess it's ridiculous if there's one um that I have a chance to get it's platform perils that's the one I've gotten most consistent at. good so far. Still a lot more needs to happen, but a lot more can go wrong. Nah, dude, you're good. If I read chat and I die, it's my own fault. Comes with streaming. If you don't want to die because you're not reading chat, you just shouldn't be streaming. What am I doing? That was sloppy. It's never your fault, always blame chat. Yeah, I would say that now she's definitely not happy. I 
definitely am going to check on her as soon as this run is over. The most likely scenario here is that she took off her diaper, which then I will have to bear the fruit of my choices. Oh, I messed that up. What am I doing? I'm like jumping when I'm not supposed to be jumping. Cool. <laughs> That's hilarious. Normally, yes. But she took the boys to go see The Secret Life of Pets, so it's just me home with the girls right now, both of whom are supposed to be sleeping soundly in their naps. One of them, as you can all tell, is not doing this thing. Alright, do not forget the bonuses this time. Regardless of wrong warp or not, do not forget, or not wrong warp, jump roll. Do not forget the bonuses. Ah, I thought I had it. Was it a good movie? The The Secret Life of Pets? And yes, she can do that by herself. It's uh, not something we are very happy about. But they all reach that age. So the hope is definitely that uh, she hasn't done anything worse with it. But I'll check on her soon, I promise. Alright, let's see. Couple minutes, baby girl, hold on!
that's not good. What's up, Sylvite? Yo, Void! Thank you for the host. Right in time for me to lose Diddy here. Alright, Donkey Kong, it's your country. Let's see if you can save it. And good. Fifty-two, fifty-eight. Alright. I'm going to go check on that screaming child as soon as Cranky confirms 101 for me. Confirms 101 for me. Come on, Cranky. Come on, Cranky. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Go look in your horde. What a player you are. What a player you are. Yeah, we did it. 